Hello, welcome to episode 23 on the Livecraft server. This is Google Bag. Um, Zach has kindly offered to help light up some uh, cave. Um, I um, will record in spectator so you can see my little problem. Um, uh, so there we go. Um, hope you enjoy and uh, let's hope neither of us die. Right, this is me. I'm in here and I'm hearing all kinds of mobs. Uh, right, there is nothing up here. But there's a skelly. Ah. And this. Oh, there's three skellies. And they are just behind the kelp farm. So there's three skeletons in a very small area. So we have those. Uh, I can hear a zombie somewhere. Uh, is there a zombie somewhere? I can hear one. Oh, unless because I've got my other account, so. Oh no, it's on my subtitles that there is a zombie. Uh, let's have a look. Unless that's the zombie I can hear. It's quite a long way from me and he's making a lot of noise. But, um, right, so, uh, that's under the storage. There's you another. Oh no, you're a zombie. Right, so we have a zombie that is literally behind this wall. And yeah, so I will need to uh, sort him out. Um, but what I wanted to show you, now I'm not sure if I can... Oh! Oh my goodness me! Now this would be good if I win a beacon, because if there's a slime dancing around, that means there's a slime chunk. Oh. I need to learn how to do um, slime farms, but as you can see, these, these zombies are not holding items. Oh, but there is some... That, ah, he is. There's one holding an item. You're a spider. Yeah. Uh, right, and let's have a look. Right, there's a few up here. He's holding an item. A few skellies. It's amazing how much of the caves are loaded in when you're quite old. He's holding an item. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Zach has kindly offered to help me go cave in. Uh, I'm not worried about zombies, but it's everything else. I don't like creepers, and I don't like uh, skellies either. Creepers sneak up behind you, and skellies just randomly start shooting you. Right, so let's have a look, because... There is, uh, if I can find it, there is, whoa, he's a long way away. There's another zombie holding an item. There's another one up to in front. Oh, you're a zombie villager. Uh, right, so you're a zombie. See, them ones don't concern me because there's not very many. But uh, let's have a look because 
don't know if I'm go whoa. Really? All of the way over here. So there's a couple. So you can see like where we've lit up. There's there's a that's a zombie spawner. Right. Now this is the party I think I'm referring to. Um Let me just turn them down a minute. Um, right, maybe I need to uh, actually turn hostile down. There we go. Right, uh, there's the party of zombies. And this what looks like has happened is... They've been toddling along here and then fallen in there. Maybe it was because I was trying to pathfind either to me or Cosmo. Um, this is a cobblestone wall, so I am just looking to see. Aha, here's some steps. Uh, See, there's the odd torch that's been placed here. Um, but obviously on this account, it is a lot lighter than uh, what it is actually.
as you can see, I no longer have a massive uh, mob problem. So some of these are lit up. Um, obviously, I also went on my own little caving adventure. Uh, it came to an abrupt end when I found uh, the cave with like different um like different directions so there was like a dark spot that would have been above my head then there was underneath me and then when i was running away from the uh zombie and i saw the mine shaft and the cave spider spot no i was just like no so um but as you can see quite a lot has been lit up. There's still a couple of spaces that I need to get round to doing. I'm not sure if I'm going to cure him or if I'm going to kill him. Um, I'm not sure what he is actually. He looks maybe he's a, maybe he's a butcher, but because I've not traded with him, could probably turn him into something else. Um, but um. Yeah, it is much uh, better and uh, as well, as you can see, I have a mini HUD data pack. Um, so it tells you the light levels. Um, yes, I understand that F3 also tells you the light levels and also that in the top left corner. Um, but I need to get out of the habit of spam torching and hopefully that will be because the problem with spam torching is i have noticed is um well then you end up with dark areas so you think you've lit up quite well because you've just plastered a bunch of torches everywhere when in fact you probably haven't lit up as well as you thought so um but um yeah so zach came around and he helped with the uh, lighting up see there's a couple of areas in in here uh but it's just you know like one or two spawnable spaces but that's not an issue i can always come back in at another time and just whack a torch on there right that's all i have time for today um, keep an eye out for the next episode. We shall find out who won the beacon uh, in Oz's, uh, Oz's archery range. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it and I shall catch you next time on the Lifecraft server. Um, so thank you for watching, bye for now.